Hello, in this video we're looking at Google Sheets and specifically Google add-ons that allow you to work with forms and end up with a mail merge type setup. So really useful feature. I think a great way of recording stuff reviews or student one-to-ones and then ending up with a Google document that captures all of what was entered into the form. Now we all know that using forms is great. When you enter stuff into a form, it's automatically collated into a spreadsheet if you choose it to do that and then but the disadvantage to using forms is that you end up with once it's entered only you as the originator of the form can access the information uh, the person who maybe was involved in filling it in with a review um, doesn't have access to the information so with this add-on we can make sure that they have a very quick summary in the form of a Google Doc of what they entered into the form. So here's a form I've created. Uh, there's a video on the YouTube channel that goes through using forms. So I've got three responses. If I click to create a spreadsheet, I'm going to create a new spreadsheet and click create. So just give it a moment to do that. So I've got my spreadsheet there and I'm going to go to my add-ons next and we're going to choose an add-on that will allow us to do this mail merge. So we'll just wait for it to catch up, it's being a bit slow. All right, so we go to add-ons and get add-ons. And the one we're looking for is Autocrat. So you go to get add-ons and you'd search for it, but I've already got it there. So I'm gonna launch that. And in essence, as I've said already, what it allows us to do is it allows us to create a mail merge. So we're going to work through that, just wait for it to load up. So we'll do a new job, we'll put the name of the job in here. Just correct the spelling check. There we go, and next. So it will then ask you to choose a template. So go from Drive. And then next. And it's going to check all of the data that you've asked to be mail merged. So you can see we've got, and I'll show you in a moment how the document, actually let's just jump very quickly to the document. So I've created the document. This is where all of the responses will be populated in my mail merge. I've used the double arrows to signal where I want the data to appear in my format of document. So you can see I've gone through all of the, the entries that were made on the form. I've now put in here and use the double arrows to signal where the information needs to go. Now if you make a mistake in the typing of the, the, the name, then it won't recognize it on the cell. So it's managed to see all of them and I can look through all of them and check that I'm happy with those. And then I can go next. And then it wants you to know the file name. So what I tend to do is just go with the team And then it's asking, do you want it to always be compiled to a single document or a multiple document? Now, in my case, I'd, I'm going to use multiple documents, but you may just want it to keep adding to, to the same single document. Um, but we'll go with multiple documents next. I'll then ask you to choose a folder location on your drive. So we'll just choose a folder and next. I'm not going to do a, a, a dynamic reference, but you could do if you wanted. And do you want to share and send emails? So yes. So that means it's going to share the doc and you can choose what rights they have, whether it's just view only. So if it was just a case of you wanted it as a report that they could see, you'd have it as view only. You could also choose it as comment, but you can see the options available there. I want them to be able to edit it. 
Um, uh, I don't want them to be able to share it with other people. Um, so I'm happy with all of that. And then next again, uh, and I don't want any triggers. I will run the job manually. Uh, do you want to share the doc? Yes, so we're good. All done. So we'll save that. So an email subject is missing. So it's very good, it brings up the error for you. So if we just go down here to subject and we can type in the title. So an email recipient. So with email recipient, I tend to put in the field. So it's staff email is, is the field. And if you enter it with that, then it will always send it to the people on the list. So there we go. And save that now. So I like the fact it gives you those checks. And it's going to take a few minutes for that to run. There we have it. Well, now it's it's new, it's ready to go. We hit play and it's going to create the documents for us and we'll be able to see those momentarily. So to recap, um, Autocrat, great add-on um, that can be added to a Google Sheet that's linked to a Google Form and it will allow you to create mail merge documents. So it's going to take a couple of minutes to run there, but I will jump ahead. So it's almost finished and we'll just go to the folder in my drive and you'll see the results. So just load that up. So just go back to the previous page so it's it's saying that's done now so if we go to recent oh, recent even we'll be able to see the files that have been created so if I open one of those now here we have it it as it loads it will have populated our responses into the information into the template that we created so there we have it all of the responses in the google form now appear in the in the mail merge document both me and the original uh, the person who was involved in the staff review can edit that document so there you have it, a great way of using autocrat as a google add-on uh, to create a mail merge from the responses you receive from a google form so i can see this being really useful as a way of providing uh, your students or your staff with feedback from a one-to-one -one that they've had with you. So if you found that useful, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel.